Hey team, so I wanted to show you some pretty cool Python packages for being able to store and manipulate your data a little bit easier. Um, I know you gotta do a lot of API calls and sometimes you're like, wait, I just wanna check something, I wanna test something, and so psh, everything will be right there in the database for you so you can just call it whenever you want. Um, this is from the Man AHL Arctic Git repository, and they have a couple of different types of ways to store them, version store, chunk store, tick store, you can kind of check out the documentation to, to look at that. But basically this is the rundown of it, you do the pip install, you start up your MongoDB, and you run something like this. So I have my own little guy right here. So we're gonna to connect to the MongoDB, initialize a library, a library, I kind of think of it as, as a big, uh, dictionary basically and so we're going to store our historical data here and from this we're going to connect to our alpha vantage api which if you haven't checked that out the link will be in the description for that as well which is an easy way to interface with the um with the alpha vantage api with python so and this right here is um our environment variable for our our key now we're gonna create the time series. We're gonna get the data here, have this little metadata API right here, store it. So you just, it's really simple. You do library.write and boom. Now it's in the library. This is just kind of to read it from the library afterwards. Um, this is the data right here, item.data, and this is the metadata here. So um, after we run this, I'm just gonna rerun it, no big deal. After we run this now, it's all stored in the in the uh, MongoDB, which is great because you know we can turn on off our turn off our computer and the, the data will still be there. So now let's say we just want to create a new script, and we're going to be down here. We can just access that same library right here, and then we'll do a read, and boom, we get the top three right there. We can change this to we can do the head. So we can go all the way back to the beginning, and boom, all the way from 1999, which is great and awesome. That's that's a really easy way to store the data, and then you can just access this, and you can do you know a bunch of API calls at the beginning of the day, get all your open and close prices, and then use that as opposed to you know chewing up all your your API calls like consistently you know reaching out. And this also will be a lot faster than you know having to ping multiple different people all the time. So that's great. The next little bit I want to show you guys was an integration with Alpaca's Trade API, which is phenomenal. So I was looking for um, a lot of different online brokerages to use, and this one I actually like the best because they are commission-free and they're very developer-friendly. I actually tried a couple of times to integrate with the Robinhood API, but the documentation is kind of sketchy, so we're not gonna go there. Um, Alpaca is, is you know, four years old, it's a little bit newer and they're targeted towards, you know, developers, people who are integrated with Python and there's no trade costs, which is whew, very nice. So yeah, same thing. We're gonna import the Alpaca Trade API. Again, link will be in the description below. Um, import our Alpha Vantage. We're just gonna initiate these keys. So um, each, both Alpaca and Alpha, Alpha Vantage, they have keys basically you need to Ping the APIs. If you're a little bit confused about that, um, check some of the documentation for both Alpaca and Alpha Vantage. So we're going to initiate these keys, connect to the Alpaca API, which again they have a lot of documentation, which is great. And then we're going to get our tech indicators from our Alpha Vantage API. And this is my very silly. Um, Trading strategy here. Um, actually, this is sell one at 0 0.1. It's less than 0 0.1. Uh, basically, we're gonna get the simple moving average every single minute, and we're just gonna keep checking every single minute. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and let that run. And if, as you can see here, if it's greater than 0 0.1, we're gonna buy. If it's less than 0 0.1, we're gonna sell. That's it. So I'm gonna let this run while I show you one other thing, which is gonna be the integration of these two, basically. Here's my together, which kind of uses the two. 
and the basic setup for kind of like a day trading quant hedge fund or a uh, day trading yeah uh, algo traders too so uh, not high frequency this is not a high frequency um type setup is you know you set up your you set up your scripts you do your imports then you download you update your data generally you create your universe as well um, then you run your models and your simulations and then obviously you, you trade and if you have some type of um, trade management tool you know great um, but so this is kind of <laughs> combining all that stuff into one script which I do not recommend that's pretty awful to maintain um, but yeah here's kind of it all combined together so we're importing we have all our imports at the top we have our keys right here which again you know, I just have them all saved to environment variables um, if you don't know how to do that leave a comment ping me uh, I also have a link in the description as well then we we set up our alpaca alpha vantage and arctic so you can see here we're cre uh, connecting to our uh, libraries I actually already initialized this SMA library someplace else and so here we're downloading and updating our data um, so version store which is one of the main AHL arctic bits it's versioned so you can just overwrite the data and you can always revert back to a previous version um, and we're actually just saving the data so if later on we're like oh like what was that what was that SMA that we got what was that price that we got we can just check our own database which is fantastic and then step three slash step four this is our our trading <laughs> these are our models slash trading algorithm this is kind of like a um, like a day trading we're gonna just dump all of our trades at the beginning of the day which if you're trading a ton of volume is a also a bad idea but we're trading one so it's okay <laughs> and this connects to my Apaca paper trade account which is right here oh and as we can see we've been doing uh, we've been doing some buys of Apple from our <laughs> from our uh, our Python notebook over here that's running. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at the SMA is staying pretty much the same. Cool. Um, yeah, anyways. So this is kind of the same thing. This is our models and trading. If the SMA um, is bigger than 0 0.2, we're gonna submit an order for one share of Apple. And this one's a little bit different than the other one. This one's over a 50 day range i believe right we did the get sma interval daily okay so um yeah so this is a little bit different the uh the one that's running right now excuse me that's this one is going a lot faster obviously the interval is one minute it's going every single minute and it's this is more high frequency ask except for it's only a minute interval um so let's actually go ahead and stop this one Great, we'll see what we did. So we bought, oh, here's what we did. We did sell, 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 buy. Nice. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and run this guy right here. And it's still executing. This one's only gonna do a buy, so if we go back to our alpaca, do we do another buy? Let's find out. 49, 49, so this is probably the most recent one. Yep, looks like we just did another buy. Cool, and so this is our little little snapshot, which is great, again, this is just the paper trading. Um, if you wanna do a real, real trading, you just change your, your base URL, you get rid of this paper part, and that'll connect to your actual account. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment below if you thought this was useful, if you wanna see something else. Um, thoughts, comments, concerns, questions, reach out to me. And um, yeah, thanks guys, bye.